So I often get asked by clients whether or not we're better off having drive cam and having video clips of accidents than not. And invariably, and based upon my experience handling cases involving drive cam clips for about six years now, I invariably answer it is better to have the video than not. Now the one great advantage of having a video of any accident is that that's how the accident happened. The vast majority of all costs expended in litigation and discovery and at trial is usually surrounded with developing facts, witnesses, discovery related to who's going to say what about an accident and trying to establish your version of the accident. But if you've got a video clip of the accident, then you can eliminate all of that cost. You can essentially cut to the chase on, here's what happened in the accident. Now, in some cases, you may have video footage of an incident that shows you're at fault. And you're better off knowing. That's the bottom line, because at least you know early and you can direct your resolution strategy based on that. You may be able to avoid litigation altogether and just resolve the case directly. Or you may have footage of an incident, as we have in many cases that I can point to, where it shows we were at fault, but it also demonstrates that even though we were at fault, the damages were a non-event and that the individual suing for personal injuries could not have been injured as a result of that incident. So the video footage in that case is equally as valuable as if it showed that you weren't at fault. And then, of course, you have the category of drive cam clips that just completely exonerate your client from fault in the accident. And each clip is different, and each clip kind of tells a different story. And you, as a defense attorney, will have to decide your best strategy for playing your clip and when to use it. But if it's a case where it completely exonerates you, we found, and it's worked for us in many cases, that if we go straight to the plaintiff's attorney, play him the clip, show them what's happened early on, they'll either walk away from the case or uh, dismiss it altogether. Video today is crucial for litigation. Our job is to persuade jurors, and we must be driven by that purpose. Persuasion is based upon what those folks expect and demand from what they see on popular media, better be it the TV shows such as CSI, NCIS, or tonight's news. We live in a world of the YouTube effect where it is videos that show us what actually happened and what people believe actually happened. When we go through and present to a jury, our job is to persuade them, show them, and meet their expectations. That's where video is crucial in order to do that. Video in litigation is the key for being able to protect your driver and your company from the lawsuits that occur. Video is definitely helpful in litigation. First of all, they say a picture is worth a thousand words, a video is worth 10,000 words. The best videos, of course, are those that demonstrate that the motor carrier was not at fault, that exonerate the motor carrier, and those can be used very effectively in litigation to either settle those cases at low dollars, get those cases dismissed, or win a trial. There are also videos that may implicate the motor carrier as being at fault those aren't really all bad either because what they do is enable the motor carrier as a defendant to assess the situation and know in advance that it will probably be liable and what that helps the motor carrier do is arrive at an earlier settlement possibly for lower dollars or admit liability going to trial and try the case only on damages uh, and enhance its credibility with the court and with the jury. The other thing it does, the best way to prevent a lawsuit and the best defense to a lawsuit is not to have a lawsuit at all. And what the drive cam does when it's in those cabs with the drivers is it improves driver behavior. They see what's actually going on in the cab, what others might see, and it enhances their behavior in terms of safety and thus minimizes risk that the motor carrier will be a defendant in a lawsuit. Thank you for watching. If you have additional questions, feel free to contact the lawyers that you've seen in the videos today. We've provided their contact information at the end of each video.